headquartered somewhere incredible. Well, for us, it's often here. A slice of paradise and a camp right on the edge of the Ningaloo Reefs. We spend our mornings waking up to the birds chirping, diving in the water and swimming all day with the beautiful fish and turtles that live here. We often like to think that we become friends with them as it feels like we see the same fishies every day. You know, just like that octopus, my teacher. But at some point, we gotta eat. And all this snorkeling and looking at fish makes you pretty hungry. So today, we're ditching the sunset drinks by the van for some sunset drinks by the beach. And I'll leave the grocery shopping up to our main man, Bucko. I might even leave the home economics class to him too. If he catches some fish, maybe he can show the kids how to fill it. If we get one. we get some more. We also get some internet up here so it's a little bit exciting. Got ourselves some bevos because it's Saturday night. Oh look at that Tilly. It used to be a big shed at least. Oh wow. Are you gonna fish? Yeah. We're see how hard this fish pull. What? The fish, Spangled Emperors. Really? Are they fighters? Yeah. That dude over there just had like a bronze, bronzy on there, like a bronze shark. It was pretty cool to see it. See that moon up there? Isn't that beautiful? It's almost a full moon. Cray Cray is going to come out. Make the switch to the GoPro. Seagulls got caught in the line. Oh, look at his little mate flying around. He'll be okay. Do you want some help? Something <laughs> happened. Oh, a seagull got caught in the line. How? Like, is... look at the shell they found. I don't care about that. Tell me about the seagull. What? What happened with the seagull? Oh, it's um, flown into the dad's line. Oh, that's it. So it was just tangled up. Come on, Spango! <laughs> a little bit more enthusiastic. Ooh, stuff's happening. Oh, look at that bend. Spangler shark will be running up the beach. Oh, cool. Look, the line. <laughs> this is so exciting! Oh my god, I haven't caught a fish for ages! Well, I've got to get him out this way. What is it? Watch out, Tex! Spango! Oh, Spango! Spango! Woohoo! Oh, oh my gosh, he's huge! I got one! Oh my gosh! Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, I don't like this. That's a Bumper text. Oh. Excuse the language. Oh yeah, my gosh! Oh, should we put him back now? Spangos. No, we're <laughs> eating him. We're eating him, no! Got him. That's what you no, want, Dad! No, no, like no. seriously. I want your car to run out. Uh, okay. Get down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, put him down. Oh my gosh, he's huge. What? How big do you reckon that is? Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, he's huge. You'll be around kind of eating hopefully to a dolphin. Get right out, bro. 
does that feel? Man, this is what I'm here for. How does that feel? This is what I'm here for. What they take me on? Squid too. I took a photo for you, Dad. <laughs> oh, good on you, Chili. How's that moon in the background? Poor baby. Don't record it. Oh, you are recording it. Yeah, well, you got to do it humanely, yeah? <laughs> Going in there is the same as. So I have bleed all in. my fish. Yeah? A lot of people don't. Why? Some do. Well, the, the blood apparently bleeds into the meat if you don't. <laughs> so I do. Sorry. Watch out, Mum. I'm in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting was that, Tilly? That was so epic. Oh my god, this is fun. Um, Although I do feel bad for the fish. Imagine if we're on a yacht. So we caught a spangled emperor tonight. Massive one, eh? Well, good enough. We're gonna, I'm gonna sh um, show Texie how to skin it. Now, when I've stripped it off the um, fish itself, I've pretty much tried to take away all the ribs, so there shouldn't be much bone. There's just a little bit of bone down this backbone area. Right? Yeah. So. This one looks a little bit harder. I'll give you this one, alright, mate. Alright. Sit down and sit there for a minute. So you're gonna do his first? Do one first? I'll do one first, yeah. That's not gonna work there, Dale. Sorry. So, Tex. Mm -hmm. Turn down here. Uh huh. What are we doing? You're running the blade across the skin, and yeah. you said to me yesterday that it's not, the knife's not really tough enough to saw through the skin. Is this the skin tight line weight down? Come on. Oh, on the yeah. Fish itself onto the skin. So I'm not losing much fish. So I'm not sawing at this, I'm just letting the knife and the weight of my hand and the weight of the knife, I'm applying a little bit of weight down on the blade and I'm just letting it slide along. This one, I actually missed a bit of rib cage, so I'm going to do this one because I'll have to clean it up at the end. But as you can see, it's taking all the meat, that's just skin. Mm. So it doesn't have to be fast, well you go as fast as what you can. But I'm just, it's about weight and the knife. My knife's actually a little bit blunt. I've just missed a bit there. And here we go. At the end, I'll just slide her out. Keep the weight down on top. And there you go. All Voila. Sk all skin. Who's that for? skin on the back. Look at that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That's for Tilly. Leave it down. Leave it down. the back. All right, lovely. So you stretch it. It's sort of trying to stretch it a little bit. Yeah. Good, good, good. Keep that up, keep that up. He's going really well. Look at that. He's pretty much all skin. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to break that skin. Mm. No, yep, so you're starting to get into that skin there. You don't want to break that. So what we'll do, I'll just I'll make a little nick there. This knife's not really cutting it. Yeah. Not really cutting it. Ah, no, cut the bud. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to sharpen this knife quickly for you. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful day we had at Osprey Bay. If you want to see more of this beautiful camp, click the video on the screen now and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe.